welcome back 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 if you are born in the 80s like myself you must have heard that song kitambo songs used to be very simple and straightforward you know just a simple uh, you know words intertwined together with some danceable tunes that are easy to vibe to so it was just you know anyway we are aging now so if you're watching this i bet you've watched the first edition that i've done about how you can survive tough economic times you know side hustles you can do that do not really require much capital yet they'll help you keep afloat so if you've watched that one then welcome to this second one i said i'm going to post these ones every day and this is day two of course it is at night because this one is also a side hustle so you see you have to be ready to go that extra mile it is not easy right now it is about um, 10 pm and uh, this has to be done so in the same spirit then uh, you should be able to do this so without wasting much time you know when time, times are tough, there is a group of people like myself who overeat when we are stressed up. Not really overeating, but we find ourselves binging on food and snacks and anything. You, your mouth is busy, as you think. So, I've done a very small research and I think most people are like this. Not everyone, but a good number of people. And that is where the catch is. You are going to take advantage of this in your office space. Let me whisper before the supervisor hears this, you know. You confiscate this video so that no supervisor gets to see this anyway. Because this hassle is going to be done in the office. So, candy. Candy is the hassle. Candy is the hassle. So many types of candy. <laughs> so, if you're like me, and a good number of people, usually, when times are hard like right now, especially mid-month, like right now when Already times are hard and then it is mid-month. You know, there is no money. So when people are at the office and they see anything edible moving by, they want. And the good thing is that candy is not expensive. Candy is just sweet. You know, I'm talking about sweets. Let me not call it candy and then I get you confused. I'm talking about sweets. Sweets. Ordinary sweets. So, this is the idea. You find a very good uh, distributor, someone who will give you these sweets at a good bargain. Like these ones, go for 10 shillings when you're selling them. But when you're buying them, a packet of 100 sweets going for 385 shillings. Do the math. Do the math if you do not believe me. So that means that you are buying 100 sweets at 100 sweets at how much? Yes, 100 pieces at 385 shillings. And you are selling each at 10 shillings. How much is that? So that is good profit. And there are 100 pieces here. So you are making 1,000 shillings buying 385. Profit 615. Yes, 615. And you know, getting to convince someone to buy this is not difficult, especially around tea break and lunch hour. You just unleash them from your handbag and then you tell them you're selling at 10 shillings. So just a small disclaimer is that... Um, you need to go for the ones that have me from experience 
I feel like people love the ones that have a milk flavor to them more than the ones that are just plain uh, sweets. This is what I mean when I say you'll find some packages written already it has milk inside like this one. Milk sweets. These ones are more famous. People love them more. Then this, this other variety also has milk in it. And it is written. Yeah. Milk candy. So those are the varieties you need to go for. And even when you're buying the the lollipops, the ordinary lollipops, you know, you can go for any kind of, of, of candy. The trick is that the trick is that you look for some place on the on the packet where it is written how many pieces there are. Then once you get to know how many pieces there are in that package, you compare with how much they are say they are selling. So <clears throat> Let's see. Like this one here is 80 pieces. 80 pieces. And you are selling three for five shillings. Then I usually like this one more because they are more and they are heavier and they are bigger. Yes. So these ones are usually 100 going for 85 shillings. And this one is 80, sh 80 pieces going for 55 shillings. And you're going to sell them 3 pieces at 5 shillings. Surely. And it is not even bulky. Your target is to clear maybe 2 packets in a day. That can be done. Of course, day 1, day 2, day 3, you are still sensitizing the population, you know. Day 4, they start seeing other other people's mouths busy during break time and um, you know tea break time and lunch time then you know sugar sugar does things to the system it keeps you wanting more and more it is addictive yeah sugary things are usually addictive that is why you find children are very addicted to sweets and candy and uh, such kind of things chewing up so it will keep your clients coming these ones are just a, a few strategies that you can use to, you know, if you get maybe 600 shillings in a day, surely. 600 shillings in a day that uh, you've not really sweated for so much. Makes a difference. You can end up buying a packet of milk. You buy some things that will just keep your home running until this. People say we are in recession. I'm convinced that we are because... Anyway, I think from what I've been reading, it is not very typical. Uh, there are no typical signs of a recession yet, but uh, times are hard. Times are hard. So if you are embarrassed about the maize roasting venture that I shared a day ago, then maybe this is for you. This one is actually for people who are embarrassed. It's a fancy kind of a side hustle and... Uh, it is not very uh, engaging, you know. Then it is one hustle that will keep, it keeps itself rolling. Like you do not really have to convince someone. If someone says, ah, yeah, those sweets, give me some. I'm selling. How much are you selling? Three for five shillings and one for ten shillings. And just like that, you are done. Till the next one. That is uh episode two of how you can survive tough times by starting small hustles that are not capital intensive like this one will not even cost you 1000 shillings you actually need less than 500 Kenyan shillings to start this kind of a hustle and then of course you replenish your stock every evening on your way from work in the morning you just slot in two packets or so in your handbag and you're good to go till the next one bye 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 i'm feeling very musical today i don't know why but i think i've had a good day i hope you've had a good day too we see each other in the next episode till then it is bye for now thank you for watching <laughs>